Praise the Lord, beautiful people of God. This morning devotion is entitled, Speak Up by Arthur Jackson. Pray that God may open doors for our message so that we may proclaim the mysteries of Christ. Colossians chapter 4 verse 3. Brittany exclaimed to her co-workers at the restaurant, There's that man. There's that man. She was referring to Melvin, who first encountered her under different circumstances. While he was tending to the lawn of his church, the spirit prompted him to start a conversation with a woman who appeared to be a prostitute. Her reply when he invited her to church was, do you know what I do? They would not want me in there. As Melvin told her about the love of Jesus and assured her of his power to change her life, tears began to stream down her face. Now, some weeks later, Brittany was working in a new environment, living proof of the power of Jesus to change lives in the context of encouraging believers to be devoted to the prayer. Paul, the apostle, made a twofold request. Pray for us also that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mysteries of Christ for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Have you prayed for opportunities to speak boldly and clearly for Jesus? What a fitting prayer. Such prayers can lead believers like Melvin to speak about him in unexpected places and to unexpected people. Speaking up for Jesus can seem uncomfortable at times, but the rewards change lives have a way of compensating for our discomfort. When did you share the love of Jesus with someone, even though it was unexpected and uncomfortable? What role does prayer play in our preparation to boldly speak up for him? Let us pray. Jesus, help me to see opportunities and step through the doors you open to speak boldly and clearly about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.